Welcome back to this video lecture series on programming questions for placement preparation. So today the problem we are going to have a look at is find sum of median of two sorted arrays. So the problem statement will be given uh, like given two sorted arrays of size n that is both of the arrays have to be of same size find the sum of the middle elements of the array we get after merging both of them in sorted manner. So suppose uh, the size of the array is 5. Both of the array 1 and array 2 have 5 elements and all of these elements are sorted in order. So if we merge them then uh, we will uh, merge them in a sorted manner then we have to get the sum of the medians. So important thing to notice here is that uh, whatever be the value of n if we merge uh, two arrays of the same size then the size of that merged array will always be even so uh, we cannot get a particular median for that array we will have two medians one at the n by 2 position another one be, uh, will be at the n by 2 plus 1 position that is why uh, we are actually having the sum of median concept here so if we actually merge this array how it, it would be like 1 2 4 and 5 5 8 9 9 11 14 like that so 10 elements and if we see this in the indices will be from 0 to 9 so the median will be at 4 and 5th index so uh, in the merged array 1 will be at the 0 index this will be at the 1 index this will be at 2 index 3 index 4 index 5 index so you see uh, two medians are 5 and 8 so the expected output we will uh, be having is 13 because 5 and 8 are at the median of the merged array. So uh, let's have a look at the approach we are going to take uh, to solve this problem. So basically we first will uh, calculate the median of both the arrays M1 and M2 and if we see that both of this M1 and M2 are equal then we will return either 2 into M1 or 2 into M2. Now one thing, we will be actually checking some basic constraints that we will do in the programming part that is if the size of the arrays is 0 then no point of uh, you know ca returning any sum of medians. If the size of the arrays are only 1 then the only element will be the median so we will return the sum of the elements of those arrays and otherwise when uh, the size of the arrays will be 2 then we will use uh, this uh, statement here so we will come back to here so let's again uh, here go back here so if m1 is equals to m2 then we will do it otherwise if m1 is less than m2 then the medians will be present in two sub arrays the first sub array uh, in the array 1 from middle element to the last and in the array 2 from start to the middle element now if this is not the case m1 is not less than m2 then the median will be present in the sub arrays which are array 1 starting from the middle element and in array 2 from middle element to the last element so this two steps are to be repeated until we get that the sub array sizes are 2 now if the sizes are 2 then we will return this value we will get the maximum of uh, array 1 0 and array 2 0 that is the first element of both the arrays which will be maximum and we will get the minimum of the first index of both of the arrays whichever will be minimum and we will add it and that will be the expected output for us so uh, all this will be clear when we jump on to the programming part so uh, i have actually taken uh, these two arrays here so now the only thing that we need is we need to get the size of the arrays one thing to notice is that if the sizes are different then this uh, program will not be applicable for those arrays so we are going to take a size of both of these arrays now if n1 is equals to n2 only then uh, we will execute a function and uh, we will save the return value of the function in this variable sum so I'll name the function as find median find median sum actually so and I'll pass these two arrays array 1 and array 2 and size so if n1 and n2 is equal so you can pass anything n1 or n2 and lastly I'll print down a message the sum of medians is sum that's it now otherwise if this is not the case uh, well 
we can actually just print out a message that will say like you know we don't do that here right so now uh, let's go ahead and define this function find median sum so this function will have a return type of integer and now the argument data types integer type of array array 1 another integer type of array array 2 and the size will be n integer so now if n is less than is equals to 0 then we are going to return minus 1 uh, which, which will be indicating that it's not possible to actually uh, get the sum of the medians because no element is there now if n is equals to 1 then will return these are the basic constraints array 1 of 0 plus array 2 of 0 and lastly if n is equals to 2 then we will do this return max of array 1 of 0 array 2 of 0 plus min of array 1 of 1 array 2 of 1 now we will get the uh, medians of both the arrays so I'll use a function here I'll name it median I'll pass the array and the size of the array so just copy it and here this will be array 2 this will be m2 so let's uh, right now define this median function here So again this will have also integer as its return type and the arguments will be an integer type array and the size int n. So if we see that uh, the size is uh, size of the array is even so n m percent 2 is equals to 0 then we'll say return array okay uh, let me just do this array here okay so array of n by 2 plus array of n by 2 plus 1 let me just give it yes by 2 otherwise I'll simply say return array of n by 2 that's it so this is the median function here now we'll check if m1 is equals to m2 then we'll say return to uh, 2 into m1 now if that is not the case if m1 is less than m2 this is the case then again I'm going to check uh, the number of uh, elements we have in the arrays whether even or odd if this is even then uh, we'll do a recursion call uh, find median sum and here this will be array 1 plus n by 2 minus 1 array 2 and the number of elements here will be n minus n by 2 plus 1 right then and otherwise if uh, this is not the case then we'll say return find medium sum array 1 plus n by 2 array 2 n minus n by 2 so now uh, if m1 is not less than m2 then we are simply going to check for the last condition and again if the number of elements are even so let me just copy it because this is going to be almost same so here this is not going to be array 1 this is going to be array 2 and here this is going to be array 1 and otherwise if the number of elements are not even then we're going to use this statement here so paste it down 
let me just uh, so this will again be array 2 and this will be array 1 right so uh, this uh, should be the program so let's now uh, run this code so the output is here and as we had taken two arrays which had 5 and 8 as the middle elements so the sum of the medians of these two sorted arrays is going to be 5 plus 8 is, e is equal to 13 and we have this as the output here so uh, this was a very simple example of how we could actually implement a program which will calculate the sum of the medians of two sorted arrays thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time